Hello, good morning, welcome to another Monday Minute. And for all you dog lovers out there, this will be a little treat for you. Because today I'm going to take you for a short walk with my dog Brandy. Say hello Brandy. Now, uh, Brandy you may think is a strange name for a dog, but in my family all dogs have to be named after alcoholic drinks. Uh, other dogs in my family have been called Whiskey, another Brandy, Ginny and Sherry. I actually wanted to call Brandy Becky after the Czech drink Bekarovka, but my wife wouldn't let me. So, first of all, what we need is a lead. So, here we have a dog lead. And Brandy now knows that we're going for a walk, don't you? Okay, we'll see you outside. So here we are, I'm taking the dog for a walk. When dogs tend to walk fast in front of you, we often say that the dog is taking us for a walk. When we want the dog to uh, come knoze, we say heel. Because heel is this part of your boot. The pata is heel. So we'll just stop here, Brandy. Sit. Hodna, good girl. Good girl. She's having a scratch. One of the favourite things for dogs to do. And uh, while she's there, sit. Good girl. We'll have a look. Now at the moment she's panting because she's already been out for one walk this morning. So she's uh, a little bit tired. So she's panting. We can see this part of her face we call the snout. This is her snout. The nose and the mouth combined together. And Something else we can talk about is all animals that have this kind of teeth arrangement, wolves, foxes, dogs, coyotes, all of them we call canine. Canine. So right at the moment she seems to be enjoying herself. So she is wagging her tail. She is wagging her tail. Ah, and now she's having a little wee wee. When dogs wee on every corner they pass, we say they are marking their territory. So, like most dogs, Brandy has four legs. And Brandy, sit. Sit. Good girl. Now, on the end of each of her legs, we don't call them feet. They are feet, of course, but on a dog, we call these paws. So she has four paws. These are the pads. These are pads on the bottom of her paws. Super, yeah, lovely girl, aren't you? So the one thing that uh, she hasn't done for us yet is uh, stekat, which uh, is bark in English. So, we're back. We are back from our walk. I'll just give you three idioms to finish off. Uh, or maybe four, yeah. The first one you probably have heard of. When it's raining heavily, you can say, it's raining cats and dogs. We also have two cats, by the way. Here they are. Say hello, kittens. If you think something is particularly hard, if you think life is a bit hard, you can say, Oh, it's a dog's life. If somebody is making a mess of a particular situation, you could say that they've made a real dog's dinner of it or a real dog's breakfast of it, meaning it's a big mess. If somebody is putting a lot of effort into something, you could say that they are uh, very dogged, very dogged. There is one other phrase which springs to mind, and, and that is dogging. Don't be confused, as dogging has nothing to do with dogs. It's more to do with car parks and cars and other things, which I will let you find out for yourself if you Google dogging. <laughs> Leave me a comment if you find out what that means, and uh, I'll see you next week for another Monday Minute. All the best. Bye-bye for now.